So that is the disorder that was described again at NIH. It was dis discovered and described at uh, National Institute of Health, where I'm working in uh, 19, early 1990s. So we have a very good understanding of that condition. Uh, that is a uh, disorder of uh, apoptosis due to defect in the FAS gene. And that was also leads to, because apoptosis means patient, the most of in the body, we need that apoptosis in the body because the lymphocytes expand whenever we are exposed to any infection. And once they have done their job, they're supposed to disappear from the body because they that, that is the mechanism called apoptosis. But if they have a fast defect, they don't go anywhere and they get a, a hyperactive from any kind of immune challenges. So... The worst patients are patients between the age of two and age into their teenage years. And we have excellent understanding of this disease now at NIH. We have published our experience with 150 patients from 240 or so unique families that we have studied here already. And we, we think this particular disorder can be very well managed and controlled if these patients are given immunomodulatory treatment with uh, serolimus. Otherwise, they keep coming back with uh, recurrent multilineage autoimmune cytopenias as well as cytopenias due to sequestration in the big spleen that these patients have. Patients with uh, ALPS and PI3 kinase genetic defect are similar in the sense both of them come to the doctors with uh, unexplained lymphadenopathy, splenomegaly, and recurrent repeated autoimmune cytopenias. And they both respond in a decent, fair fashion to uh, serolimus treatment, I mean, rapamycin treatments. Uh, however, patients in autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome have very high IgG, and patients with uh, PI3 kinase genetic defect have low IgG and uh, high IgM. And they also, patients with PI3 kinase genetic disorder also have um, problems with their lungs and gut because the lymphoproliferation affects those two organs quite se severely. Whereas ALPS patients seem to be limited mostly to lymph nodes and spleen. Both the disorders, PI3 kinase genetic disorder as well as ALPS, have a very high risk of uh, developing non-Hodgkin's and Hodgkin's lymphoma, and that we have published in many papers so far.